This is an instructional video detailing the functions and applications of the Phase 2 PTG 3500 series coating thickness gauges. These coating thickness gauges are designed to test non-magnetic coatings on both ferrous and non-ferrous metals. The technology is based on a single multi-purpose probe that combines both eddy current and magnetic induction capabilities in order to order detect ferrous or non-ferrous substrates. Phase 2 offers two models in this series of coating thickness gauges. The PTG3500 comes with a built-in probe and the PTG3550 with an external probe, which may help in tight testing spots. Both models work exactly the same way and are even priced the same. For demonstration purposes, we will use the PTG3500 version. This model comes with two substrate standards, one ferrous and one non-ferrous. Also provided is a set of sample calibration standards for easy calibration checking. Now let's move over to the operation of the coating thickness gauges and how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining readings. As you can see, the keypad layout is quite simple. You have a power key, a zero key, and arrow keys for scrolling. The power key also acts as a menu key. If you hold down the menu key for a few seconds, you will see the screen change first to off, then cal, then unit, then sc, then ln, and finally back to off. Taking a test is extremely simple. Power up the unit pressing the red-green button. The unit is defaulting to UM since the calibration standards supplied are in UM microns. The zero key is designed to zero out the gauge on a substrate without coating. Place the gauge on a non-coated substrate and press the zero key while the probe is in contact. Zero will show on display. Now select a calibration standard that is similar to the coating thickness of your application. Place it on top of the steel substrate sample. Then place the probe over the standard and press firm to flat. Readings will display on screen. Notice the FE showing on the left of the screen. This signifies that the substrate used was ferrous. Now move the standard over to the aluminum substrate. Take a test and reading will be displayed on the screen. You will now notice that on the left, NFE is shown. This means the substrate used is non-ferrous. To take the next measurement, lift the probe off the test piece and then repeat. Should you find that your readings are not within acceptable tolerances, take a test and after removing probe from contact, use the arrow buttons to calibrate to the known value of the calibration standards. Then repeat test taking procedure. Repeat this step until result is correct. Let's go into the menu so we can see how to change from micron to mil. Press the power button and hold for a few seconds until unit is shown. Then press the zero button to change from UM metric to mil inch. To change from single measurement mode to continuous scan mode, hold power key down approximately 9 seconds until SC is displayed on the screen. Immediately press the zero key to set to next mode. This concludes our function and application guide for the Phase 2 PTG 3500 series coating thickness gauges. Should you have any questions?